Hello everyone, a week has passed from the trading plan I shared with you on the Canadian dollar Japanese yen and the time has come for me to do a short recap on it. In this recap uh, I'm going to comment what the idea was behind the plan very quickly. Uh, then we'll see how it developed and I'll make some future predictions. Unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to uh, publish a live signal based on this plan, but I published a lot more on uh, other trading plans which were not shared uh, online, but the live signals were shared for free and uh, they gave us some nice profits. Also, uh, yesterday I uh, published yet another trading plan. I hope you caught it. Uh, and I also published a live signal based on it, which so far is giving us good profits. Now let's start with this uh, recap. Uh, uh, what you see now on the screen is the Canadian dollar Japanese yen plan, which I posted on TradingView. Uh, just a quick comment on it. Um, the price was already here uh, when I posted the plan. As you can see, uh, just below it, we had a daily support area, which is the middle of the whole range. And uh, here the price almost touched that area and uh, was probably looking for a new wave up. Now uh, my uh, main idea was to short uh, the pair but I gave you a both ways scenario. Uh, first thing first I was expecting a, a wave up here until that target one zone uh, which where we uh, could have taken some of the profits in. As you can see, just above that zone is the weekly resistance and the top of the range. And below this uh, daily support area is our target one zo zone for uh, sell trades. And just below it is the final uh, target, the weekly support. Now my expectations were for the price to make a wave up probably to this uh, target zone. And from there to start a new wave down which will push the price further inside of that daily support area or even break it. Uh, so let's see what happened on the plan. As we can see right after I posted it, we had a wave up, it reached exactly to the target zone, then uh, the price here was pushed down but as you can see uh, the buyers had total control over the market, also we had some news uh, that um, boosted up the price of the Canadian dollar and uh, the pair managed to break uh, through that target zone and reached to the weekly resistance where it currently stands. Now at this point, uh, let's check, I haven't posted the live signal but you could have caught that move. Uh, till the target zone where you could have closed some of the profits and the rest to be left floating with a stop loss at break even and so far it could have produced you even more profits. Now let's see on the live chart uh, what can we expect. This is the H4 time frame. Uh, as we can see uh, currently the price is standing exactly inside of the weekly resistance area as I said and it is already showing some weakness here. Now I will monitor it closely but I don't expect uh, for the price to break this uh, weekly resistance so I don't expect it to reach above the 86.75 mark. Now it may go uh, a little bit further inside here of the weekly resistance but after that, I believe we'll see a huge wave down. Uh, if we look closely, right here, uh, we have some potential level, if I can call it that, where uh, previously the price uh, hesitated for a while, as you can see dropped from there even when it retraced it hesitated and then dropped here so it can avoid the weekly resistance on the daily and weekly time frames. So at this point I would expect our, the price to reach somewhere here 
and from there uh, for us to see sorry for us to see a new wave down uh, which will take us inside of this target one resistance area which now turned into a target one support area for an H4 cell or M30 or lower of course so uh, what I'm gonna do I will wait for the price to reach somewhere here and either on the H4 or uh, H1 or M30 I will look for sell opportunities I'll close probably uh, some percentage of the trade uh, somewhere here inside of that area. After that, I don't know, we, we might see a direct break of this area or we might see a correction, a small correction here. And after that, a break of it and a continuation of the downtrend. Those are my future views. Um, we'll keep following on this plan and we are following on the other plans I shared. Again, uh, we post a lot of signals each week um, for which we don't post any trading plans. And if you want to receive them, join our Telegram channel through the link below this video. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a profitable rest of the week.